So recently I've gotten into making uh, what I call chunk art, which are these large 50 millimeter D20s. I love to show them off, but anytime I post them online, you always get the dreaded question, but are they balanced? Well, let's find out. Now, I am no math whiz by any stretch of the imagination. So I did a little Google Foo, looked up chi-squared tests, different probabilities and formulas for testing dice, and I eventually came across this uh, great little macro Excel program that uh, this guy on Reddit called I Need a New Game underscore dot com put together uh, four years ago in a post. Uh, it's still available. You can still download it. I'll, I'll throw it in the links below if you want to test your own dice. But this made it way easier. I did check all of the formulas uh, underlying in the in the spreadsheet, and they all are correct for chi square testing. So let's get let's get to it. So what you'll want to do is load this up in Excel, and you will have to turn on macros. Now Excel will scream at you that this is unsafe. Just uh turn on macros it'll pop up at the top uh, I've already scanned this program and I didn't find any viruses but make sure to do your own scan seems to be perfectly safe but as you can see from the interface basically you just put in there's instructions over to the right uh, you put in the number of sides of the dice you're testing um, Rolls needed to detect bias, it'll tell you. Rolls made so far, it counts as you enter them. And it also tells you how many you have left. Um, it also has a little interface where it tells you what faces have not been seen yet, and it'll they slowly go away as you roll your dice and enter your rolls. Has a rolling tally also of um, you know which ones are above the 1.5 times uh, percentile for this particular data set but those will change as you keep going up in your rolls so I wouldn't pay too much attention to that so we're rolling this dice 200 times and we'll see what happens it's got the nice little keyboard over to the left and as you just roll you just pick your number and click it and it adds it to the tally and the macros do all the, the spreadsheeting behind behind the scenes now as far as these dice are concerned these are handmade by me they are art and glow resin the inserts were sculpted by me and printed in a clear sierra tech simple resin so with the exception of a little bit of acrylic paint and some glitter these things are basically solid resin so we're about to wrap up here on the testing approaching 200 rolls and we'll see what we got And there we go, 200 rolls in, and we are within expectation for random results at a type one error rate of 0 0.05. Now the 0 0.05, um, I don't remember if that's P value or whatever, I'm not a math guy, but the, that is 5%, which is how many times a single face would come up when rolled. So the 0 0.05 is the percentage that each face should come up uh, on any given roll. Since you have 20 faces and there's one of each number, you've got 1 divided by 20, which is 0 0.05, which is 5%. So you got a 5% chance of any number coming up in a random roll. So that's how this thing supposedly works. Again, circle slash math. But uh, here we're going to look at um, a bunch of the graphs on the different uh, percents and stuff that uh, for each number it'll, it'll show you if you've got any biases down here and again I did this 200 times that's how long I was willing to sit here and roll a dice for this video and to test mine uh, of course the more you roll the stronger the bias detection will be so if you want to sit there and 
roll a dice 5,000 times uh, and, and put it into this to see how, uh, how biased your dice are, uh, go for it. I'd love to hear it and put it in the comments. I'd love to see, see what you do. But uh, that's it. So in the, in the question, the age-old question, but are they balanced? Yes. Yes, they are.